Today's stage leader of code right now, right? Yeah. That, yep. So how's the week? Week's going well, huh? The week is going well. I have a really great team behind me this year. Kristen Lasasso, Scotty Wilborn, and Laura Parsons. So instead of one excellent teammate, they've multiplied, and I've really felt a lot of pressure to come up with the win or at least the podium, and so we've been really working hard, and I credit, I credit them for all the victories and the good placings that I've had. And Lasasso had her own, she had a couple of her own. She did, she started off the week with the win, and then she won there last year, 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 and uh, how'd today go? Today went really well. It was a little more aggressive than yesterday. Um, again, the because a lot of fresh teams Good and bigger teams in came in uh, yesterday and today. And uh, the, the girls just really the kept helmets. their cool and kept things in check. And, um, and of course, the different you know, it was a perfect styles. final last lap for me. So I'm um, very happy, really happy to have the win. So a couple nice wins job. here, that's going to knock you up in the national criterion calendar standings well, too, no, isn't it? Well, no, because this is an Omnium. So it's at the end of um, the four days of the Omnium racing that count toward the national criterion. It's not the I mean, last each day, yeah. But you've won oh, the I've last won two. Too, but I mean, good. you know, Erica nice has a really job, big lead buddy. on me, and I'm not sure that I can overtake her. Right. So I'm just really happy to be coming up with some wins for the team and for my sponsors. And after racing here last year at Toad. I knew I wanted to come back. I think the organization does a great job. I think the state does a great job. And Becca Law is a sponsor. So uh, regardless of whether it was part of a series, I was going to return to support the event. Could, could you tell me a little bit about your team? I don't, I don't, I mean, I, I know you've been racing for them for a few years. But... Um, Melon Mushroom is a pizza, Look at pizza this franchise. Someone get this good pro contract. And um, this year Whoa. for a few races, We've combined with Rose Bandits, which is a big uh, women's no, cycling team. They can't even uh, like that. You know, regional yeah. with some Rose national awards nice out of my How about this guy with so the yellow flag on the front? So that's why I have the benefit of front. having both Kristen Lasasso and Laura Parsons. Right. Going at it. Scotty Wilborn, which you guys picked, composite with us. Right. So. Oh, cool. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah. And uh, last two laps. So how did it? How did it go? It looked like Tibco kind of got up in the front there. Tibco overtook my girl. And ah, I just kept my girls in sight, but just was looking yeah. for the fastest wheels. And, um, you know, there's always a little confusion. Luckily, the free lap roll applies for our kids' races, too. You know, people yeah. can attack and switch, but um, I managed to still hold my We're position. We're going to hold this for the GT Direct Parents' workout so, camp. Right. It suited me. And, Look at uh, this beautiful outfit you know, I just, here. I just kind of played nice off of Lauren Hall today. Nice tutu, a flower in the hair. It could have been any of the Tibco girls, really. Right. Cool. Lauren Hall, second today stage. It's my new number. Two? <laughs> Just can't, can't get out of second right now. Close that guy. Yeah, because you had a second uh, earlier in the week, too, yeah, right? Uh, oh, no, well, that's the road race, though, right? The crit as well. And the crit. Uh, <laughs> so, all right, well, what are you going to do to get over uh, Van Gilder now? We're just going to continually get our lead out better. Yeah. That's, we're going to work on that a lot this weekend. And we're, we're changing the rotation. The girls are young and... Uh, we have a climber here, and you know they're they're not used to like a high pace lead out. Yeah. So we're gonna work on that and get it right tomorrow. Right. So how did how did it unwind today? It looked like about two laps to go. You guys were getting together up at the front. So. Yeah, we were. We were actually on the outside. Yeah. And uh, we just kept getting pushed wide and in between corners one and two. Yeah. And then you get the piece where the road comes in. Yeah. So I was like, move to the inside. Right. And it took us a whole lap to get around to the inside. But it was fun. Whoa. Collins came in third. So how did the sprint go down? Um, it was super chaotic. <laughs> just crazy. Like, oh, I just hit the vomit to the front in the last straight down there. And my coach told me to take the inside corner, so I did it. But I kind of got caught in the Tipco train because I had to come out first because so I got fourth, so it was too late. So today I tried to get in front of them, but they were too good. And I kind of not Lauren from the last corner out there, so it was pretty crazy. I lost the balance of it, and then kept going. And I mean, Lauren's just out doing everyone. It looked like you had quite a bit of speed kind of coming down. It looks like you were catching up a little bit. I lost a lot of speed on that corner, so Back there. I had to kind of start from scratch, but it was, I mean, it was very crazy, so I was just happy to be staying up. <laughs> And you had pretty good position most Mary of the day. Mash, Mary Ellen Mash, our uh, NorCal um, representative. So you think you got 7th or 8th? 7th or 8th. 
Yeah. It's pretty exciting to finish in the top ten there against a super super stellar field. Yeah. So this is yeah, one of the this is one of the big fields too. A lot of LRs here. Absolutely. This is the NCC crits. Yeah. These girls are throwing it all on the line. Very concerned about their overalls and yeah. the last sprint was the last final lap was just all elbows flying and it was about crash almost. It's about holding it up. It was crazy. I heard the last lap was pretty crazy. So. All the corners, your elbows are flying, and people are bumping and rubbing through the corners. It's almost like a track race there. Yeah. <laughs> and you're not a trackie yet. No, not yet. Hernando wants me to be, though. Yeah. Him and Beth are trying to get me on that pursuit spot. Yeah, I know. I don't you know, gotta, like, you gotta do that. sprinters don't really go well in pursuits. It's short. Three minutes. Oh, That's yeah. like just one like, lap. He's drooling the whole time. That's right. <laughs> cool. All right. And, uh... You had another top 10 this week too, right? I did in Grafton, actually, Grafton. and I raced on mountain bike shoes. I forgot my shoes that day. Nice. So it goes to show you don't really need your shoes right. to do well. Right. Awesome.